Good day. This is Linda West with Living Live. And I am really, really excited today to talk about one of my absolute favorite live streaming platforms, Be Live, which is the one I'm on right now. Now, why would you need to use a live streaming platform? Well, first of all, besides meeting people in person where you're handshaking and being able to hug and actually have conversations in person, live video is your next best way to communicate with people, to build an audience, to be able to you know, deliver information, disseminate information to people, and then also have a conversation with them. Because when you're doing live streaming, you can have a conversation. People can ask you questions in the comments and people can comment as well. So you can actually have a live conversation with them. So today I have the pleasure of introducing to you Mickey Shinlin and he is going to be uh, talking about Be Live and he is the business development manager of Be Live. So Mickey Mickey, welcome to the show. I'm so excited to have you here to talk about Be Live and how you got started, but before we do that, you guys, if you know anybody who's on Facebook, okay, well you are because you're watching this right now. If you know anybody who's on Facebook who has a business or who has a message to share, live video is definitely the way to go. I highly, highly recommend it. It's actually changed my life. It's changed the way I, I do business. It changed the way I've um, increased my confidence level. It's helped me so many different ways. But please share this video out. And then today we are talking about, again, my, one of my favorite, favorite platforms for live streaming is belive.tv. Go to belive.tv and check it out. So Mickey, welcome to the show. And uh, why don't you share with us how you got involved with Be Live? Oh yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for having me on. And, uh, always a pleasure. We already spoke a couple of weeks ago. That was a, that was a great broadcast with Steven. So it's always good. Um, good to be back on. So yes. yeah, last, um, last summer I was a marketing intern over in Israel. So I spent a good amount of time with the team with about seven other interns and Daniel Sapir in Israel. And from there, um, they're really great about me being back in college. Um, I did I did work from college for them good and they asked me to stay on. So it's been a great opportunity and I've been meeting a lot of great people and making great connections. So everything's been going going well since then. It's just a great team and has a great mission. So always a good time. They really do, and you know, they're really customer centric, right? Like they're really um, if the customers want if the customer wants something and they can't do it they will try to figure out a way to do it and that's one thing i really love that customer service is really great and and what you said just now is really a testament to doing internship because you did an internship i'm assuming with the hopes of learning something mm -hmm. and then not only did you learn something but you met some amazing people you you know traveled and then then they brought you on because I'm assuming your work ethic is awesome, so they brought you on. And not okay. only that, because you do a great job, right? So awesome. Kudos. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I hope so. But yeah, I mean, I think an internship is the best way to transition into a job. Um, I mean, you just get to know the company so well. You, you're not jumping into anything random. You really know what to expect out of the people you're working with and the responsibilities that you're going to actually have. So, I mean... I personally recommend that to everyone who has an internship and they like that internship to go for the job. When it gives you a leg up too, right? Because anybody coming in, um, cause I'm, I'm assuming they probably get a lot of applications, especially now that they're in the mainstream, they have so many more followers and so many more people helping them. Um, you know, to grow because like, you know, even like me all the time, I'm always talking about be live and how people should, you know, get be live. And as far as I know, they don't even have an affiliate program. And so, you know, I'm just sharing the word because I absolutely love the product, which is a testament again to if you love a product, you're going to share it. And so with that said, I'm assuming they get tons of applications all the time. And by you actually being there, in their sites, you know, because you interned with them, it gave you a leg up over the competition. No, yeah, absolutely. I mean, building a personal connection is always the way to go when it comes to these internships or jobs or anything, and it'll always put you first in front of anyone based on my experiences and based on experiences that I've heard from other people. So, I mean, it's always going to give an advantage. 
That's so awesome. Now, make sure you stick around because I'm going to show you guys the behind the scenes of Be Live so you can see some of the things you are able to do, you know, how we, when uh, you see shows that people are running that are using Be Live, I'm going to show you some of the ways that you can actually do those things and how easy it is. And this, and speaking about easy, that's really why. I use Be Live so much because it is so simple. It's easy to bring people on. It's easy to do a screen share. Um, the person you have on cannot do a screen share, not yet. I'm sure that that eventually um, Be Live will have that. I'm I'm just assuming that Be Live will have that as an option for us. But it's really incredible what you can do with this platform. And again, doing live video, live streaming is so valuable to your business. And it helps you to you know, get your name out there, uh, become an authority. There are things you can teach people, show them how to do things. And it's so, so awesome. So, Mickey, before we get into that, I, I want to ask you so just a couple little questions about your internship there, because, you know, now you got like behind the scenes, right? You're you're behind the scenes doing your internship. So let me ask you, what was your favorite part of interning with Be Live, so whether it was the people or the training or stuff like that, what was your favorite part? Um, yeah, so I mean, I just like connecting with the people. I mean, that's always, in my opinion, what's going to define them, how your job is going to go, so the actual people in the company, and if you're actually going to be happy. And just everyone that I met, whether it's Daniel, the CEO, Sapir, the CTO, or anyone that I was working with, it's just everyone was on the same page right away about what we wanted to help develop. And it was a really integral time because they were rolling out the new features and they were rolling out the pay plans at the time. So it was really a great step to see in the right direction for the company. And just everyone, everyone knew it was about community building. Everyone knew it was about really just connecting people who couldn't otherwise connect with each other in person like you were talking about earlier. Live streaming is just a great way to create interaction, create engagement, and everyone is on the same sphere right away. I mean, the company is only as good as its mission, I always like to think, and everyone was on the same page about what we were trying to achieve and the relationships that we were trying to help build through our platform. So, I mean, I would say the people, and I mean, the people are really going to underline what the experience with, with you and the company are actually going to be. So I think that mission is going to very clear to the Libraries group and the relationships that we try to build every single week. I know members of the team always are contacting the people who use the platform in order to get the reviews and the feedback and everything like that. And we really understand how important it is to connect with our community. So, I mean, so, I mean, just going back to your original point, I would just say it's the people because it's the people that make the work experience great not just the responsibilities. I mean, you could always have the same responsibilities everywhere, but yeah. it's people that you like to be, it's not going to be as valuable and, that is, and it won't stick with you as much. That is so true because um, there's a saying of that you can, um, you can train skills, but you cannot train personality. So it's, it's so true. A lot of uh, employers will hire based on personality because they know that they can train the skill. So, so that's a, a great point there. And so, yeah, tapping into that, that's good to hear. So the reason I asked that question is I just wanted to see like, what, you know, what is it like to, you know, work at this company that's just doing so many great things, but is the company great? Because a lot of times um, a company is, you know, money driven. And so the heart isn't there as much, but from what I've witnessed, just from, you know, seeing the little bit that I do on, from this perspective is that they really, really truly do. They have a desire to you know, improve their product, make it better, put it out there, get it out to the mass market, help more people and at a low cost, which I think is so awesome. I think that's probably been the key to their initial success at least. Cause they, if I remember correctly, it's, it's been less than two years that be live has uh, you know launched itself like out to the public yeah. and, I was one of the first to jump on when it was because I knew some friends who were doing it um, in the beta testing, but I wasn't part of the beta test. And then then I was like, I started reaching out and I said, I want to be part of the beta test. I want to be a part of the beta test. And they let me on. I was like, that's so cool, you know. So it's really cool to be part of something like that. So let's talk about um, a couple of the features that 
Be Life has. And in doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show my screen and let me get this up here, here. And so I'm going to show, what I'm showing you guys is the, the screen that I'm looking at right now. So if you see in the uh, top left-hand side, you can see the Be Live logo. First of all, I created what's called a transparency and the transparency made it so that you can see a Be Live's logo on the left-hand side. And then you can see my logo on the right-hand side. And it's something you can create using Google uh, Slides. Just so you know, you can use Google Slides, create a transparency, just save it as a PNG. And then it makes it so you can have, it's like an overlay, okay? So then also you'll see um, on the upper left-hand side, you'll see a blank um, where it says, bring a guest into the broadcast from the lobby below. So I can have up to four people, including myself, on the screen right now. Now, if I wanted to uh, be the, like the behind the scenes broadcaster where I'm not doing, I'm not actually up on screen, I could do that as well. So I could hang out below and control everything while I have other people up on the screen. So you can have four people up on the screen at a time. So right now I have, you know, the three of us. So it's me, Mickey, and then it's my screen share. Um, so like, okay, so what you're seeing, hey, hold on a second. Let me unsolo. Okay, so right now you're seeing us side by side. It's you know, me and then Mickey and then the screen share. Now it's cool. I'm going to again show you my screen so you can see what happens is down here on the right hand side where right above end broadcast, What's cool is I can actually change the view by clicking these buttons here. So what's good about doing this is that it makes it so that your screen is changing and people get to see different views instead of it just being a stale, you know, one view. Like um, when you're doing a Facebook Live, for example, you know, you can't you can't flip around and do stuff like this. You can't move stuff around. But not only that, as you see, like it has mine and Mickey's names on it. Um, I can show, you know, by showing this screen right here, I can uh, click on this thing where it says show, and then I'm now showing the share. So like I'm telling people they can share this out. I can put BeLive.TV on my screen. And then also, uh, so right now, this here that I'm looking at and scrolling through, it's called, let me show it solo so you can see it again. Um, it's called an agenda. What's so cool about having this agenda is that you can create all kinds of notes for yourself to make sure you don't miss anything. So it's just like an agenda that you would have on paper, but you would have this agenda here on the screen. So if you wanted to show something on screen, you can. So I can say show notes. I can show that on the screen. Or you don't have to. You can hide it. So the show notes can be for your own use, but they can also be to show people on the screen. So what I'm going to share with you now are some different live video platforms. And you, know, Mickey and I were talking about this a little bit before we got started with the interview because I was you know, asking him if he knew of any of these live, live streaming platforms. And he knew of some, and I knew of some, but not of all of them. The point here is that there are so many live streaming platforms out there that you can use. And I'm going to share with you today why Be Live is my favorite. It's my number one. And then Zoom webinar is my second favorite. And I'll share with you why on that. So different ones that we have are called Livestream, Ustream, JW Player, Iris Platform, Stream Era, Stream Spot, Facebook, Periscope, Zoom webinar, Blue Jeans, Ecamm, OBS, and Be Live. So those are some of the platforms that you can use for live streaming. So let me, I'm going to send this down, back down. I'm going to bring Mickey back on the screen. There we go. And okay, hold on one second. I'll take that. It's on our heads. So I'm going to remove our names so that we can see what we're talking about. Okay, so right now we're talking about live video platforms. So Mickey, um, I'm assuming that Be Live is your favorite. <laughs> I would agree. Yes. No, it definitely is. I mean, for someone who doesn't have a huge amount of live streaming experience before this, I mean, it was just so easy to learn when I started off last year as an intern. And I've just been able to easily go live if I need to or teach people done demos, things like that. And it's just it's very simple and everyone can create a very professional broadcast without having to put in so much time and effort. Oh, let's talk about that a second. Okay. Time and effort. Um, one of the 
first, yeah, I learned about Be Live, and then I learned about one called OBS. And I you know, have a friend who uses it religiously. She absolutely loves it. She knows how to use it. She's amazing at it. And so she taught a lot of us how to use OBS. And I got to tell you, after hours and hours and hours of trying, I just didn't get it. Now, I'm a smart person, and I do know that. But but it's interesting because we all learn differently. So for me, OBS was very complicated. I dove, I, I dove back into it um, later, about six months later, to see if maybe something would click, and it still didn't. I, again, spent uh, like two hours on it, couldn't figure it out. But other people I know have like, boom, they're like, they're, they're in there and within like a half hour or so they're using OBS and it's amazing. So the point I'm making here is that, you know, you can always try a whole bunch of different types of live streaming tools. Like OBS is one of them. You'll try it out, see how it goes. Maybe it will click for you, but if it doesn't click for you, it doesn't mean that you're not smart. What it means is that it just didn't click for you. So try another platform. So this is why be live is awesome. Literally be live you it's like a like a point and shoot camera i guess it's like to kind of like compare it to something because literally you sign up for your account and you can go live immediately it is so simple it is the most user-friendly um, live streaming platform that i've used so far and i've tried a couple other ones i've tried um, zoom webinar which is also easy but there's more steps to it than be live um, i tried periscope i didn't really like that one very much i i don't know it was just kind of weird and then Facebook. Facebook, of course, is very simple. But here's the thing about Facebook is that you're very limited in what you can do. And what I love about Be Live is like, like I said, you, know, you can show these things on the screen. You can do a screen share. You can show videos. You can um, now, my understanding, you can actually make it so that people can hear the, the sound that you're playing. Um, I haven't tried that out myself. So like if I wanted to play a video with sound, you could do that as well. Uh, but there's so many things. So, uh, Mickey, what would you say is your like favorite part of Be Live? I would say personally, I like the fact that it's tailored for people to organize their broadcast. All the oh, all yeah. the features are incredible and it's great, but um, Be Live provides the opportunity for people to really have a structure and then show it on screen and for people to be able to follow it. That's always been my favorite thing because then people can understand when segments starting and segments are ending and things like that. And then that could be followed up by all the by all the other features, the branded content and everything. But I think organizing a broadcast and not having things be as random and it be more structured and coordinated is really important when it comes to creating a great live broadcast from all that I've heard from people who have been live streaming for years, it's really important to have all that prepared and ready to go and then it's just ready to shoot out to your audience. So I think that's my favorite part. Yes, yeah, so it's just like the simplicity of it, I think is is probably my my favorite part of it as well. Um, you know, some of the other ones like, like Ecamm, for example, is one that I hear a lot about. It looks like it's an amazing platform, but that's for people who have Mac and I don't have Mac, so I can't do that you know, until I get a Mac, which I can't wait to someday I will, I will get one eventually and I'll test that one out and see how that goes. Hopefully I'll get it. You know, <laughs> I'll understand it because OBS still has been just like argh, complicated for me. But what I love about this too is um, I'd say in my opinion, this is my own personal opinion is that be live has given the regular person who wants to have a platform to share, it's given them that opportunity to like from their home office, from the library, from like right now, it sounds like you're at a coffee shop or something, you know, from wherever you are in the world, as long as you have a Wi-Fi signal that you can actually like have your own show, have your own platform and bring other people on, which means you have an opportunity to share the brilliance of other people with the world. I mean, how amazing is that, that I can sit here and interview you as if I have my, my own news channel, you know, <laughs> but I don't have to pay thousands and thousands of dollars to have my own news channel. It's awesome. Exactly. I'm actually at a WeWork in my office, by the way. Oh, you're at WeWork. Okay. Yeah. And where, where are you located? Right now, I'm in Times Square. 
Times Square. Oh, awesome. Can you show us around? I think other people, I'm in the shared space right now. The other people are okay. trying to work. I don't want to disturb them, but it's a really okay. nice place that has a great amount of amenities and things like that. Um, but yeah, going off what you're saying, it's always great that people have the ability to share their voice and to share all their thoughts and experiences without having to feel like they have to spend so much money and time and effort into it. I mean, I mean, we're really focused on just providing a great experience that doesn't require so much stress and so much thought you can just go live when you need to and yeah we try to support that that person and as much as we can and support the community as much as we can and it's easy too because there's uh two ways you can do it uh, just you know for those who are not familiar with the with the be life platform is there are two ways you can do it one is you can say go live now or you can schedule a broadcast up to seven days in advance, which is really cool because you can advertise it in advance. Um, if you're doing it on your Facebook business page, so you can do be live in groups. You can do it on your business page. You can do it on your personal timeline. So you can do it in different areas. But if you're going to schedule, for example, a be live in advance on your business page, you can actually run some Facebook ads to that before you go live. So if there's somebody that you, you know, want to you know, throw some you know, Facebook ad money at to you know, before the interview, you can do that and you can invite people to join you for your live broadcast ahead of time. So it's really cool that you can do that. Now with Facebook Live, you can't do that. With Ecamm, I'm not sure if you can do that. And with um, Zoom Webinar, you can do that, but it's not to invite them directly to that live broadcast. And that's another thing I love about BeLive is because when I pre-schedule something, people can click a button that says get reminder. So they'll yeah. actually get a reminder that BeLive sends out to them. I personally, as the organizer of the, of the video um, content or whatever, I don't have to remind them because BeLive automatically does that if they click on that get reminder button. So it's so awesome to use it. And I highly recommend it, you know, to everybody. As you can tell, I, I love BeLive. Um, I'm probably talking too much about it because I should be interviewing Nikki about it. <laughs> but I just love it so much. And I love to share, you know, the, the value of it and you know, how much it can do for you and for your business. Uh, so what would be some, we just got a couple minutes left, uh, Mickey. So what would be some things that you would want to share with people that I didn't bring up and like, what is going on? Because, you know, you're doing the, you know, the business development. What's the future, like the near future that you can share with us? Um, there's, I, there's not much I can actually share, unfortunately. Um, <sighs> I know, I know. Good things are definitely coming, that I will say. But I mean... What I can share is that we're always focused on our community and there should be hopefully no hesitation if anyone needs to reach out to our support team or to me personally. I mean, my email is just Mickey at BeLive.tv. If there's any inquiries, if you need a demo session, if you, if you want to talk about ways that we can work together. I mean, one of the great things about, about our business that I think is amazing is that we just love being available to everyone. Like... We have that we have that flexibility, and we kind of create we create the foundation of our mission behind that that we're available to people we want to we want to connect as much as possible. So I would say that that's definitely always been my message. Like we're always open to speak. We love to talk to people who use the platform and who want to gain more knowledge about it and just have a conversation about it. Okay, awesome. And you can re reach you again at Mickey at BeLive.tv. And, um, oh, gosh, <laughs> Franco Franco, I, I forget your name. I Gosh, Lee. Okay, I know that's not his real name. But uh, so what does BeLive TV look for in live streaming influencers? This is an awesome question. Do you know the answer to that? Sorry, say that one more time. Oh, what does Be Live look for in live streaming influencers? I mean, one of the most important things is engagement with our community. We always like people who will talk to other people within our community. And of course, I mean, exposure, exposure, exposure. It's really important when it comes to having live streaming influencers and things like that. We always like, we always like when we can expand our reach of 
we love when our community is dedicated to expanding the reach as well. So when we're looking for that, I mean, that will always be one of the first things that we see. Are you involved with our community? Because we want people who are dedicated to our platform as well. And then what's your reach? How do you do it? Like the steps that you'll take, do you use bots and branding content, things like that. Like, all of those little things when it's involved with it's involved with expanding the reach. How do you do that? We're always interested in hearing about that. And you know, that actually I'm sure can be um, ported into any business that you want to be known as an influencer with is you engaging with their community. And that's that's just great advice right there. So a lot of times I'm thinking that um, people might think that, oh, I don't want to spend all that time, you know, that time and energy, you know, uh, I, I don't have that much time and energy to spend, you know, communicating in a group and and devoting time. But the thing is that imagine if you spent eh, 15 minutes a day, maybe you spend 15 min minutes a day engaged in the community where you're you know, helping to answer questions, which would have have you seen as a base, you know, as long as you're answering the questions correctly, right? So maybe you're answering people's questions, which is helping to really time from the Be Life staff, you know, or from whatever uh, company it is that you're trying to become an influencer with, but you know, you're able to get in there and answer questions and, and just um, be part of the community and the community involvement and building it. So try that out, see if you know, 10 or 15 minutes a day will do that for you. And then they'll take note they will take note of, you know, oh, look at this person here. Here they are. They're really, really engaged with our community. And then they might reach out to you or, or vice yeah. versa. You reach out to them. Right. Yeah, and no, that, I mean, it sounds like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, a perfect example is we're in the beta stages. As everyone knows of our brand ambassador program. I mean, one of the most important things that we look for is, are you using the platform often? Are you engaging with our community? So, I mean, we're always looking for people who are involved. Yeah, that's a great thing to add. Awesome. And awesome. Yeah. And my uh, uh, dog, uh, I thought my dogs were wrangled, but they're not. <laughs> so Peppa likes to chime in every once in a while. She's, you know, it's funny. I have this, uh, this background for me. It's just one of those privacy screens that you get at Walmart, you know, like a, like a, uh, like when you're like a dressing privacy screen and it separates me from the rest of the house, which is kind of cool for the looks, but it doesn't separate the sound. So oh, yeah. Hey, Cheryl, it's good to see you too. Good to see you. Yeah. So I, I think that was a great question, Franco. Thank you so much for asking that because um, that's actually a question I've had and I never even thought to ask. So, Thank you so much for asking that question. We can get an answer on that. So what's your last tip? We got two minutes left. So what's your, your last tip that you want to share with us before we head out? Um, let's say keep live streaming. That's, that's my <laughs> last tip. It's a great way to engage the community and uh, stay involved with the community. Really, that's like whenever people ask me that, stay involved. There's so many people that you can network in just on being the Be Live as group or in any group having to do with social media on Facebook. I mean, networking is just great for getting people on your shows. I mean, one thing that I've always noticed that it's not a cutthroat environment when it comes to live streaming. People like to watch other people and people want to support other people. So the more you expand your reach, the more people are willing to help you and you can help them. So I'd say that's yeah, and if you're, you know, if, if you're, ne if you've never live streamed and, and you're not sure what to do, you reach out to me. I've helped over 350 people so far do their first live streaming and then also help them to, you know, gain the confidence to continue doing it and, and talking about like what kind of content they should do. Cause a lot of times people don't want to do live streaming because they're like, oh, I don't know what to talk about, but you know, trust me, there are so many topics that you know about. You just don't realize that you have all that stuff to offer people because people want to hear what you have to say. So get yourself out there live streaming. It is the best way to get yourself in front of a lot of people at one time, because even if you're, let's say you're doing a speaking engagement, like for example, tomorrow I'm speaking at an event. It's an expo. I don't know how many people are going to be there, but you know, I'm going to be talking about fear, which is one of my topics that I talk about. And I don't know how many people are going to be there, 
but I will also be live streaming it. Why? Because I know that I can reach more people that wouldn't be able to be there at the event. So live streaming is an amazing way to get yourself out there. And please go to belive.tv. Check it out. They, I know they have a free trial. I'm not sure how many days it is. But go check out BeLive.tv's 14-day trial and try it out. And and I highly recommend that anytime you go live on BeLive that you use the talk show format. I don't even use the other ones at all anymore because there, there's more functionality. And um, and I guess it depends on which plan you have. I'm not sure how that works. But, but the, yeah, the talk show is the best way to go by far, in my opinion. So I highly recommend it. Nikki, I want to thank you so much for joining the show. Be live. Be live. This is Living Live TV. And I want to thank Nikki so much for being here talking oh, about live. And I, you're welcome. You know, I can't wait to see what you guys have in store that you're not allowed to share with us today. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. And then if you want to reach Mickey, go to Mickey at BeLive.tv. And you guys have a great day. And remember, just get out there, start live streaming. It will change your life. And you're going to change the life of others along the way. So have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now. Bye.